Hello, this is Dennis McDonald with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can get us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And this telephone is what's called a grand phone. It is a, a reproduction of a 1940s desk telephone. And in the first video, we uh, showed that the receiver capsule in the handset was broke free and uh, it was rattling around and making noise. Also the customer has complained about the uh, handset cord being too short and he asked if we could put on um, a straight cloth cord and so that's what we're in the middle of doing. Uh, I want to show you here what we have is uh, we've got the receiver capsule taken apart and unsoldered and then our microphone uh, we have taken out of uh, the transmit capsule or the transmit cap and the microphone would fit right in here so here's the microphone right here and what we're trying to do here is remove this hard wired and there was a little clip here you see this little clip that holds the wire in so so basically now we can start pulling the wire through and uh, removing that and we're getting ready to um, install and and make the right size we're going to cut this from stock this is a, a cloth covered um, modular cord and basically we're going to use it as a handset cord and we will after we get done uh, installing it we will clamp on some uh, modular plugs like this and then we will also install in this handset we're going to install a modular port and then run this up to the uh, to the receiver capsule and solder it all in. The uh, original receiver capsule is broke. We dug that out of the, um, this part was melted and glued into, um, this is just a bunch of junk they had in, you know, like hot glue and just stuff that they put things together with and glue things with. And this part of the receiver capsule was embedded in the uh, receiver cup or cap, whatever you want to call it. And this was the uh, this was the receiver capsule. It was broke, and so we don't uh, we're not going to mess around with that one. Uh, we dug that piece out of there, and um, basically we have another one here, and um, this is the old one, and then we're going to put another one in, and uh, we'll install it in there. I'm going to dump this into the trash and then this will sit in there like that and we'll stabilize it in there there's a little rim here that that fits into and the ideal was to either kinda melt it in there together or glue it and uh, we'll probably just hit it with a couple of pieces of hot glue and um, get that squared away so basically we're uh, heading in the right direction with this telephone we're um, basically going to put this uh, hardwired um, modular cord that we're going to use as a handset cord. It's a straight cord and we'll hardwire it. It'll be another hardwired type situation only this time um, it'll have a clamp on there and it can be changed, a modular plug. I mean, um, right here is what I want to show you real quick. We'll have to go into the telephone itself and um, in this area here, we're going, to have, we're going to have to disconnect and keep track of where our wires for the microphone element and the receive capsule. So we want to pay attention to that because what we're going to do is we're going to solder on to that in this area somewhere a modular port that we can plug our line cord into or our handset cord so for easy you know so we can change it anytime we want 
in case something goes wrong with it. So basically, um, just uh, showing you a little bit about what it takes to redesign this telephone um, from this uh, hardwired curly handset cord to a straight cloth cord that would have been more in in the uh, tradition of what this telephone would have had on it if it were from uh, the 40s. Uh, most of them had a, a straight black plastic cord on them or a um, cloth cord and so we're going to try to get it more into what it would have looked like from that era. And this is a customer's telephone and um, this is the second video and we're just going to be doing a little bit of work here. Um, I'm going to set the camera down and uh, try to pull this cord through and show you here what we have to do. We're going we're gonna to have to take this microphone off and um, I want to take a look at that real quick because I want to know where the ground is on the microphone because we have to we have to keep track of that. And I think basically what we're going to have to do is um, the best thing to do is just snip this. And I'm going to mark the side that the uh, black wire was on. I'm going to take a little nip out of it. That way we know what side that side came from, that wire came from. Because we're going to have to reinstall this microphone on our newer situation. So we'll remove this now. And then we just uh, pour that out. And we're going to have to clean the caps up. You know, they have a lot of hot glue on some stuff here. Um, that's all going to have to be removed because when we, uh, when we put our caps back on, we're going to have to uh, put a little hot glue on it again. And, uh, but we have to get the old hot glue off to make sure that everything fits good. So we'll work on that and then we're going to work on the um, the handset cord and get that all straightened out. So we're well on our way to um, getting this telephone redesigned the way that we want it and the way that the customer um, wants to have his telephone. And um, this is just a little video to show you um, basically how far along that we are with the uh, telephone at this point. So we're heading in the right direction with this. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. This is a 1940s reproduction of a black desk telephone. This telephone's model number is called the Grand Phone. And we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you and goodbye.